Hi there, in this video we are going to see how we can create a new planner prompt by means of the copy prompt option. Here I am in Microsoft Planner and I have this prompt that I want to copy. So in order to copy this prompt, what I have to do is just to click on the three dots in the planner configuration. And as you can see here, I have a new copy plan option available just to generate a new plan from this existing one. So I can create on copy plan. And as soon as I do that, I have a pop-up window where I can specify the configuration of my plan. plan. So in this case, I'm going to remove the copy off and then uh, I'm okay with snake, but we are going to append something additional. For instance, six edition. Yeah, be careful with the brand, uh, brand name because this is going to be translated to the underlying Office 365 group. But as you know, some special characters will be removed and so on. So the next thing you have to do is just to choose the privacy of the brand and brand. Indeed, you are choosing the privacy of the Office 365 group. So in this case, I'm going to leave it as it is, private. Then if you have enabled classification. You can choose the classification level, in this case, general usage. Here we go. And then the last setting you can specify is just the group description, anything else. So once you are ready, you can create the plan, uh, the plan and plan using the copy plan button. So click on copy plan button and you have a message here, a notification telling you that the uh, plan, plan and plan is being copied and that the new copy of the plan will be, will appear in the recent plan sections in the navigation. And that's what's happening because I have here the new panel plan. So I can click on the new panel plan. Um, here we go. As you can see, this is a perfect copy of the original uh, panel plan. It's almost a perfect copy. Why do I say that? For several reasons. For instance, I don't have the logo of the uh, original panel plan. And yes, as you, as you know, the, this logo is belonging to the Office Specific Group. I have all my buckets, that's fine. I have all the tasks in the in each bucket, but if you open one of the tasks, you are going to notice something peculiar. For instance, you don't have the original dates you have in the source plan, panel plan. Okay, I'm okay with that because yes, this is a, 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 a new panel plan and I want to set the dates by myself. Okay, I don't really mind with this. Uh, this uh, with this issue, I can say. And the other issue, as you can see here, is that the members of the panel plan are not the same we have in the original plan. If we go back to the original plan, you can see here we have four members, but in the copy, we only have one. So that's another, let's say, lack of functionality. So I'm, not, I'm copying only the panel plan definition, what means I'm copying the buckets, I'm copying the tasks in each bucket, but I'm not copying the um, Panel plan members. So that's the reason why if I click on a specific task, I'm not going to see the people that was is assigned to this task. It's not copied to in the process of copying uh, generating the panel plan for an existing one. So uh, this is actually a very cool feature, but uh, you must be aware that there are some limitations such as the icon limitation, the members limitation, and of course, the days limitation that are not copied in the new panel plan. I hope you have found this video interesting and yeah, talk to you soon. Bye bye.